Welcome! I'm Helmut Erler and today I'm talking about very tiny things in audio engineering. I'm talking about a record groove and the pickup and this is an electron microscope shot. How small things are in disc mastering. Let's have a look um, at the groove. This is the surface of a lacquer and you can see the white light is reflecting on the untouched surface. We call it land. The gray zones are the groove. So whatever is cut out of the record becomes gray. And as we zoom in to this, I want to show you the three basic styles of pickups that we have. One is the spherical and the other is the elliptical. The third one is a micro ridge or shibata style pickup. And the difference between those is the contact zone that they have with the record. You see from left to right the contact zone gets smaller and smaller allowing for more detail to be picked up. Let us inspect a little bit closer the record that this groove will eventually sit on and it has an interesting fact to it. It is round and unless we stop it it spins at the speed of one revolution per 1.8 seconds and on the outside this revolution is 900 millimeters long whereas at the inner part it's only 370 millimeters long so when we start a record again we can think about what this has to do with sound. What you can hear is a 1 kilohertz test tone that we use in the studio to test our equipment and I used it to cut a groove at the very outside of this test lacquer and you can see the waveforms are perfectly in sync swimming from one side to the other. And to give you a little bit of an idea about the dimensions of these grooves, I superimposed the shape of a pickup. It should, of course, move with the groove, but this doesn't. It's just showing you the size of the tip so that you get an idea of what happens to a groove when you move from cutting outside to cutting inside and it's the very same one kilohertz tone at the very same level and superimposed is the very same shape what you can see is the waveform looks a little bit squeezed and it also looks as if it would move slower although it's the same frequency. So I want to show you both movements together, outside and inside. And you can see they swing perfectly from one side to the other and they're perfectly in sync. Only on the left side they're a lot more squeezed. Well, and as interesting as test tones are, I want to show you a little bit of real music before I finish this small video. And you can see the very same music cut on the left side, on the inner part of a record, and on the right side, you will see it cut on 
the outer part. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>
Thank you.